We got, you know, we got more. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. Um, I'm sorry if my mic cuts out. I don't know. Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This Boston crowd ready to roar in this Eastern Conference. You might miss them. The Celtics. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. They were able to sweep the season series last year, completely controlling the play in each game. Well, from their sweep of this season series a year ago, pretty clear why one team wound up in the postseason and the other one went home. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Brandon Jennings and Monte Ellis comprise the back. Elias Oba out there with Sanders. And it's Mba Amut. All right. We're about three and a half minutes in. Bradley, give me the ball. Bradley, give me the ball. Ah. Uh. Passes to Lee. Or the three. The rebound by Brandon Jennings. Well, Steve just mentioned the ease with which they handled this opponent last season, Clark. Well, the series between them really was quite ugly. I mean, not very competitive at all. As you would have guessed from looking at the standings at the end of the year, this was um, very one-sided. It sure was. Lee in the post, defended by Dunleavy. No good from Lee. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. And it's Gruden with the jam. Wow, people. You don't want to give up too many dunks like that. One is too many. Oh, yeah. No, certainly you're right. You know, that's making it way too easy for sure. Yeah. Major breakdown defensively. They've got to tighten things up here. Rondo dishes to Sullinger. Passes it to Lee. Defended by Dunleavy. Lee in the posts. Ah. Walkie with the rebound. 35 seconds left in the first. Tries it from 19. Here's Gooden. Tries again. The rebound by Jeff Green. They are setting the tone Rondo. early with their work on the boards. Yeah, only a moderate advantage here. A slight one, but as the game wears on, it's one they'll definitely look to build on. Now Jennings tries for the alley-oop, and it's slammed in by Ellis. Well, that was a max range alley-oop pass there, guys. It's got to be. I don't know if anybody's throwing one any longer. Well, that's just crazy. Man, how high did he have to go to make that catch? What an unbelievable play. Wow. This one for three. No good on the ah. And a good game so far as we conclude the... Terrible. Third. The Bucks on top of us. Basketball season is in full swing, so come out and enjoy live NBA action. We're showing ads Olympics. with Mux. Tickets are available to see Lights Out and so many other great players. So come out and welcome. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, Steve and Clark, your thoughts? And I like what they've done offensively. Oh, 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 oh. oh. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Great execution coming off that inbounds play. Well, it was the Boston Celtics winning their last game against the Heat at the American Airlines Arena. And not to discount defense, guys, but it was their effectiveness offensively that allowed them to finish that game out. Yeah, spoken like a true sharpshooter. The battle at that end of the floor, which they won easily, really told the story. Yeah, well, that's that's what I'm saying, Clark. Lee, he's in a small forward. Ajan Rondo and Avery Bradley out there in the backcourt. Garnett out there with Green. That's the Boston Five. Here's Lee. Second shot opportunity. In deep, Garnett drops it in. Garnett's got four points now in the quarter. Great matchup here. This game has gone back and forth. Multiple lead changes. Just a great game, guys. Here's Dunleavy. Kevin Garnett yeah. has the miss. Garnett's got his fifth rebound in this one. You know, when you've got the kind of speed the Bucks have in their backcourt, you really want to try to push the tempo. Why would you give me the ball? Uh, that with Monte Ellis and Brandon Jennings. They were second in the league in field goal attempts. Now let's send it to the Bowling. The sideline. Kevin, last season was the best of Brandon Jennings' career, and coaches around the league are taking notice. Pistons coach Lawrence Frank said, you can see how passionate he is about the game. 
He plays with a zest, a zeal. He's all over the court, both on and off the ball. Dallas coach Rick Carlisle said he's got that great speed, but he's really learning how to change speeds to give himself an even greater advantage. No! He's an all-star caliber talent. It may be some time before he gets that kind of recognition, but he's a really, really good player. With a Jeez out. Kevin. He certainly is. Thanks, Doris. Well, we know how talented. Look at free throws. Question of how what, what's missed three throws, guys? That continues to put the work in. I'm quite aware of. Well, for the Bucks, the problem had always been finding points. Now playing a little quicker. With those two speed merchants in the backcourt attacking more. And they seem to have found, I think, Steve, a little bit of balance. Well, they've always been a defensive-minded team under Scott Skiles. Uh, yes, I can. I think they're looking for that balance. Why is it no That offensive firepower. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, that's phenomenal. I mean, he's got major bounce ability. I can't think of any other way to put it. Yeah, you would. Terrible. He needs help to get up that high. It does oh. seem unreal, doesn't it? I mean, that's just his natural ability, though, guys. And, or bounce ability? <laughs> <laughs> that was a me, walking block. Courtesy of Sprite. Shot clock at six. Here's Lee. Busted. No I am. Either. You know, it was interesting listening to Brandon Jennings last year in Milwaukee. He talked about watching Dwight Howard and Chris Paul trying to go to bigger markets and that he was thinking about his own options, really implying that, uh, you know, maybe going to the, one of the bigger cities would be a preferred option for him. I'll tell you what, the mid-range shot... Is and you run out your for Ben. When you've got daylight like he had there, I mean, those are shots you want to make. Here's Lee. Yes! Another one! You go for sentence in the press conference after the last game. You know, I think he said the right things after that first game. It's a big one because it is your first taste of NBA action, but I'm done for the day. Twelve percent. It's just one game in a long And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. Time now for the halftime break. With the third quarter. Matched by a terrible second, huh? But they don't know that yet. Welcome to two. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. What a night so far for El Celtics leading by six. Setting the floor for the Bucks. You pass the May, you don't have to. With Gooden. Then there's JJ Reddick. Then it's Dallin Bay. And it's Jennings. Yeah! Assist. That's good by Garnett. Assist counter. Assist. Good from that range, guys. I'm down Levy he dishes it to Reddick. It's back to Jenny. The feed to Reddick. I do better. Here's the screen. He feeds it to Dallin Bear. Gooden. Dishes it to Jennings. Over Rondo. Jennings can't get it to go. Rondo. They really need to start looking elsewhere, guys, because he can't get anything to go. You are good. Lee, defended by Dunleavy. Lee kicks Shoot it. Again, the Celtics yeah, to assist. I'm just going to start passing the ball. Much room for mid -range. He'll hit that all day. Feeds to Dunley. It's back to Jennings. Launches a three. Jennings can't get that one to fall. Run. Selfishly now, guys. He's just trying to get as many shots up as he can. Doesn't look at all concerned about his teammates. Bucks trail by 10. Clark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket. Just got need some momentum here, Kevin. Goes right up. It's blocked. Lee outside. Shoots over Jennings. Can't hit from the elbow. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Celtics lead by 10. Coming up next Thursday night, Kevin Durant. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth. I want to get on this last quarter, so, so this is my game. Containable game report, Doris. Kevin, our uncontainable game award goes to the Boston Celtics. Goodbye, Kevin. There it is. 
They came, they saw, they conquered. Congrats on getting a win in a really close game. How much does a game like that change the way you play in the closing moments, knowing that the outcome is hanging in the balance? I didn't play the last quarter. It doesn't change anything. Whether there's that sense of pressure hanging over things or not, it's our job to go out there and make plays. It could be early in the first quarter or a tie game with only a few seconds left. No matter what, you've always got a job to do, and nothing should stop you from doing it. Yeah, report. It's part of being a team, and it's something I don't take lightly. And the rest of my team showed that they don't either by pulling out the win tonight. It was a huge performance to get the win here, man. Huge. Big up the Celtics doing carrying me. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm uh, having some audio difficulties with my recording apparently. So like the next seven games are gonna either sound bad. I, I don't know how they're gonna sound from the future. Um, I don't know what's going on with my my mic. I might have to try another one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching anyway. And uh, yeah, hope it doesn't. You don't have to worry about that. That's fine. I frustrate you that my awesome voice gets cut out so often. It's not funny. Um, Come back. <laughs> but right, cheers for watching.